Hi. <laughs> Hello, people and whatnot. Uh, this is my second time recording this and whatnot, so <laughs> had my mic muted. But anyway. Hello, people. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Last Breath Sans and whatnot. Um, an interesting character and whatnot. And I'll be going based off of the uh, game, of course. That's pretty much where the lore uh, is. I'll make sure to leave a link to uh, the game in the description, uh, the Game Jolts uh, one. But anyway, <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get into this. So, uh, origin of last breath sands uh lore wise and so essentially um where this kind of takes place is is that uh multiple genocide routes uh taken place by um frisk slash kara and one day they discover gaster's room uh you know the the, the room I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the room uh essentially eventually gaster ends up leaving that room and ends up having a conversation or ends up talking rather with sands and so Gaster makes Sans aware of what's been going on and whatnot. Makes Sans uh, knowledgeable in, in that whole area. And so Sans, now knowing this, is trying to stop you and whatnot. So that's uh, kind of the, the, the origin, if you will. A little fun fact about it is that Gaster ended up teaching Sans about like the orange power. Prior, Sans mainly used uh, the blue, um, blue power. The blue power is like the blue bones, and now he can use orange ones as well. Uh, so that was, that's like an interesting little thing. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into this. So, motives, which is a little more self-explanatory. He wants to stop the genocide routes, wants to stop you from, from causing them. Um, and is very determined to do so. Uh, so there is that. <laughs> um... As far as, like, um, I guess, like, what I like about it, uh, about Sans, uh, this version of Sans, um, one thing that happens in the game is after you defeat Sans in the first phase, um, uh, Sans is, feels kind of defeated at first, but then he notices that he still has some health left, and even though it's very little, like, very little, Sans is still determined to fight you. He still wants to um, face off against you, and he views it as as a second chance to um, take you down, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, that that he um, that that's a part of his character. That that in this one he is very uh, determined in that regard. Now, potential future and what's next for this version of Sans? Uh, well, unfortunately for him, and I guess spoilers. Um, he does get defeated. It is kind of cool though. Um, well, he gets defeated what appears to be in, like in the second phase of the game, and Gaster appears to kind of take over Sans at that point for the third phase. And it's it's rather interesting because you could you uh, you get to actually see Gaster talk to you uh, kind of through Sans, or at least kind of appears like it. Um, he calls you an anomaly. So. That's like an interesting little um, point or thing that they kind of added as far as um, that whole regard. Um, so now let's get into the categories uh, that I'm kind of doing for these sort of character reviews. Um, is this version of Sans evil, neutral, or good? When I did Dust Tail Sans, which funny enough, these characters are actually a little similar. Um, I may even do a comparison video, but there's some differences, of course. But um, I gave Dust Tail Sands like a more so neutral good kind of thing um, around there. And with this Sands, I would definitely say good. This Sands is good. Um, he doesn't really, he doesn't go on um, killing his friends in order to gain power, which not to throw shade at Dust Tail Sands, alright? Dust Tail Sands is cool. <laughs> but. With, with, with this Sans, he doesn't do that. And so, he's definitely, I would say he is good. Now, is he laid back happy or is he serious sad? And well, definitely um, on the uh, serious sad side of things, unfortunately for um, Sans, which makes sense within the confines of the story uh, as to why. And uh, finally, strength, well, 
He's definitely, I would say, stronger than regular Saiyans, especially when it gets taken over by Gaster. However, I would not say that um, he's stronger than Kara slash Frisk, because, well, duh. Um, which may be the case for a lot of these characters. Um, uh, so there's that. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so if you guys have any like recommendations as to what characters I should review next, um, you guys can let me know. Uh, I do reviews, reactions, and um, gameplay videos of different Undertale-related stuff and whatnot. And hopefully soon, Deltarune as well. Um, <laughs> Sorry if my voice is tired. <laughs> uh, uh, definitely doesn't help that this is my uh, second take on this video. Uh, for making this video, rather. Uh, but yeah, um, it would be great if you guys would subscribe to the channel. And give the video a like and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all next time and whatnot. Till next time. Bye bye.